so welcome back today we are going to do our shares topic from mathematics uh, section unit 1 friends uh, we know that whenever anybody wants to start a business a huge amount of capital is required and when i say capital it means actually money a lot of money is required so an individual who would like to start a business a huge business large scale business this individual may not be able to gather or raise that much fund that much capital which is required to start such a venture so what happens a group of people uh, i can say group of like minded people they come together and they form a company the people who establish the this company these people are called as promoters the amount of capital which they require okay suppose this is the capital of whatever is required uh, this is divided into small parts okay so what happens is uh, suppose for example they would like to raise 10 crores or 100 crores so this entire amount this capital is divided into small units and uh, these small units okay these small units are called as shares so whatever these small part of this entire capital which is required to be gathered or to be raised okay that is called as a share so a share is a smallest unit of a capital of a company the value of a share can be rupees 1 10 50 100 whatever that amount can be this amount of this share okay is called as the face value we'll be using this word many number of times so we should know what is this face value face value in short will be written as fv it is also called as par value so each share can be of whatever number of rupees say 1 10 50 100 whatever and that is called as a face value of a share also called as a par value now these shares are purchased by people so the co- company gets the amount the capital which is required by selling these shares so those people who buy these shares are called as shareholders a shareholder is an individual who buys or possesses the shares of a company the shareholder may have a single share or multiple shares each shareholder is issued a share certificate and uh, that indicates the number of shares purchased or holded by the shareholder it also indicates what is the face value of the share let us see an image of a share certificate which is a sample share certificate here we can see the name of the person say person is a b c so this is the name of the person individual or what whoever has purchased those shares is he owner of how many number of shares this is signed by the president vice president or whatever the office bearers are here is the name of the shareholder the signature of the shareholder this is a sample share certificate just to show that how a share certificate looks like okay coming back shares are bought and sold in a place which is called as so the place where all these transactions of buying and selling of shares happen such a place is called as a stock exchange we must have heard this word also very famously known as share market in mumbai we know that there is bombay stock exchange bsc also we must have heard uh, national stock exchange nsc so this is a place where people well brokers all those things they come they buy and sell their shares this is actually called as trading so we'll use the common word trading for buying and selling and these shares are bought or sold at a value which is called as a market value we have uh, just now seen a word called as face value face value is the actual value of the share when it was initially brought into the market 
and market value is the current value of the share in the market. So, the word itself means very clear that what is the meaning of a market value. Now, it is very interesting thing to understand that if the market value of a share is same as the face value of a share, okay. So, there is no difference between the face value and the market value. We say that the share is at par, neither it is uh, showing some great performance nor the performance is poor, the share is at par. But if the market value is greater than the face value of the share, in that case we are say, we can say that the share is traded at premium or the other word we can say that the share is above par, it is higher than the par value or the face value. When the market value is less than the face value, then obviously the market value is less than the face value. So, we can say either the share is being traded at a discount, might be because of some poor performance or some other benefits required or the other word we use is the share is below par. So, these are some phrases which will be used again and again. When we say that the share is traded at par, it means that the market value is same as the face value. When we say that the share is traded at a premium or above par, means market value is greater than the face value. And when we say that the market value is less than the face value, it means that the share is traded at discount. Okay. This is a relation between market value and face value which is actually indicating the performance of the company in the market. So, when a company earns profit, so anyway the company is doing some business. So, if the company is doing some kind of profit, then the amount which remains after paying all kind of taxes, wages, some other debts or whatever okay loans. So, after paying all those things working expenses whatever amount remains from the profit that amount is distributed among those shareholders. So, all those shareholders who have raised the capital for the company they get the benefit of the profit. This profit which is distributed to the shareholders of the company is called as dividend. Dividend what we have to remember about this is always given on the face value of the share. Okay, it is not given on the market value. Dividend is given on the face value of a share. Okay. So, this is about some basic things about share. Let us proceed and see the various types of shares. Now, one type of share is called as a preference share. Preference shares are given to some specific shareholders okay. and what is the specific thing about this is the these shareholders are entitled for a fixed rate of dividend. So, there are certain shareholders who are privileged to get a fixed rate of dividend. As we know that dividend is given by whatever remains from the profit after deducting the taxes, wages and other expenses. Uh, so, it may vary every year, right. So, but then those shareholders who get a dividend at a fixed rate, whatever may be the profit, then uh, their shares are called as preference shares. So, this is a specific type of share, preference shares. The other type of shares are called as equity shares. These are also called as ordinary shares. They get a dividend as a percentage of the profit of the company, okay. but that percentage is not fixed. The rate of dividend is fluctuating. So, this percentage okay, is fluctuating. It is as compared to the preference shares, these equity shares get a fluctuating uh, dividend depending upon the financial status of the company. Then another type of shares are called as bonus shares. Bonus means uh, giving something extra. 
So, these shares are given to existing shareholders, again those not new ones, but those who are already shareholders of a company and these are given free of cost. The, the reserves of the company are very high uh, and would like to capitalize it by converting those into shares. Okay, so, if their reserves are very high, they would like to capitalize these reserves by converting them into not hard liquid money, but into shares. What they do? They create these bonus shares and these bonus shares are given in proportion. They are given in proportion to the share existing shareholders. So, what I mean by proportion is that, for example, uh, bonus shares are declared in the ratio of say 3 is to 10, for example. That means, for every 10 shares, which for example, I purchase, I will be getting 3 bonus shares free of cost. So, the total number of shares which I will be having now is 13. Initially, I had 10. So, the company is giving for every 10 shares, the company is giving 3 bonus shares. So, total number of shares which I get now is 13 and all these 3 bonus shares are, as I said, they are free of cost. Okay, so, these are 3 types of shares, preference shares, equity shares and bonus shares. One more thing which we should know about shares before we go to solving problems is the term called as brokerage. Selling or buying, okay, either you sell or you buy. Selling or buying of shares happens in the share market or stock exchange as we have seen before. And this selling or buying happens through people or agencies which are called as brokers. Now, these brokers whether they, whether you want to buy or whether you want to sell, okay. For both the uh, activities, they take some kind of commission. They take commission from the person who is buying and they take commission from the, from those who are selling, both the sides, okay. This commission which they take is called as a brokerage. That's all for this video. In the next video, we shall solve some problems based on these concepts. Thank you.